Shalom. Welcome to Rob on the Rock. I'm Rob Van Hoff. Here we are for day 19 of March through Mishle. We're looking at Proverbs 19, verse 21. Grab your English Bible. Uh, and here we're looking at a, a snippet here from the famous Keter or Aleppo, Aleppo Codex. It starts right here on the right. Rabot machashvot belev ish. Belev ish. Now, I love how all these letters look like they just run together, don't they? But there's actually uh, a few words here. Rabot means many. Rabot. And then the next word here is machashavot. Machashavot. The uh, thoughts. Machashava. We've done that word before. Machashava is a uh, singular feminine form. This is the plural. Machashavot. And notice they both end in ot. 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 That's the feminine plural uh, ending there. Rabot machashavot. Many the thoughts, or many are the thoughts. Be, belev, be is in, lev ish, lev ish, heart of a man. Many thoughts in the heart of a man. That's literally what it means. Rabot machashavot, or many are the thoughts in the heart of a man, or in a man's heart. Rabot machashavot belev ad, uh, not, not adam belev ish belev ish vaatzat adonai hi takum vaatzat adonai hi takum the next bit is the next verse so we're going to stop here with these two dots that's the sof pasuk at the end of the verse so it, the verse is this section right here that you see rabot machashavot belev ish vaatzat adonai hi takum and the council atzat uh, adonai means the council of the lord he it because uh itza council is feminine he is the feminine pronoun he is he takum will stand the counsel of the Lord will stand or remain standing, right? The counsel of the Lord will stand. And that means metaphorically will be vindicated uh, in the end. So for example, there could be a righteous person who is following the counsel of the Lord. They are holding fast to the words of Yeshua, but it seems like uh, everything's going wrong. Da, 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 da. It doesn't look like they're in a good situation. Think about Jeremiah, the prophet, in a pit, right? In Jerusalem, they threw him into a pit, thinking that would silence him. Well, what happens? We know in the end, and all the false prophets are the ones uh, that are condemned. But Jeremiah's word, because he was going by the the counsel of the Lord, his word was vindicated. So, but why the contrast here between the, the counsel of the Lord, which will stand, why is that contrasted here in this proverb with rabot machshavot belev ish, the many thoughts in the hearts of a man? Well, maybe you remember way back, well, not way back, but a few videos back, we did Proverbs 16. We did the first few verses there, but Proverbs 16, 1, if you remember, le'adam ma'archelev, it says to to Adam, to a man, there is an arrangements of heart. Um, but but uh, an answer of the tongue, literally, is from Adonai. Well, it means the same thing. This rabot machshavot is the same thing as the marche lev in Proverbs 16, verse 1. It means that a man's heart, or whether it's Adam or Ish, these are synonyms in this uh, in this context, uh, is full of different thoughts. Rabot machashavot. We, we can be all over the place, right? We can have all sorts of thoughts competing uh, in our hearts. Um, all sorts of stories, uh, different ideas that clash or uh, all sorts of things. A, a thought can be a worry, right, as well, uh, worrying about things. It can be different plans, different dreams. All these things are machashavot. They are thoughts that are in our heart. And it says rabot. There are many. And this is contrast with the atzat adonai hi takum. 
because we have thoughts in our heart, humans do, that are fleeting. And we have worthless thoughts that we'll have repeatedly. We'll have worthless thoughts that never, never come to pass. Worry about things that never happen. The contrast here is Atzat Adonai, the counsel of the Lord. In the same way as it said in Proverbs 16, Me Adonai Ma'ane Lashon, from the Lord is a clear response, is a, is a, a clear purpose. Same thing here. The counsel of the Lord, He, Takum, Takum, will rise up, will stand, will be vindicated. So this contrast is a man's heart filled with the worries of the world. That's the Rabot Mahashavot Belev Ish. And then on the other side, the, the pursuing of the things of God, seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, his counsel, the Atzat Adonai. And it will stand, Takum. And as Yeshua says, all the other things will take care of themselves. So here we go again. This is uh, Proverbs uh, 1921. takum. All right, everybody. I hope this is uh, continuing to be a, a, a wonderful and edifying journey for you as we just kind of go one day at a time featuring uh, a verse or two from the corresponding chapter from Mishlei or Proverbs. Shalom.